Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today I want to show you how to connect an Xbox controller to an iPhone using Bluetooth. This is very easy to do and it will allow you to play mobile games that support a gamepad like Call of Duty Mobile, Among Us, Brawlhalla and more. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to turn on your Xbox controller by holding the power button for 3 seconds. And on the back of your controller, you're gonna find another button. Just quickly press and hold it for about 5 seconds. And if you see the Xbox light blinking, it means it has switched to pairing mode. Now turn on Bluetooth on your iPhone. So for that, go to settings tap on Bluetooth and make sure this toggle is turned to green. And on your phone, you're gonna see Xbox wireless controller, just tap on it. You're gonna get a message that says Bluetooth pairing request, just tap on pair. And the light on your controller will switch to a solid white. This means it has successfully connected to your phone. And if you have this widget on your iPhone, you'll be able to see the charge on your Xbox controller. Now let's test it by playing a few games. And as you can see, the controller works as if you were playing on a gaming console. If your Xbox controller won't pair to your iPhone, try doing the following. Make sure that you're using an Xbox controller that has Bluetooth. Older versions of Xbox controllers didn't come with Bluetooth. An easy way to tell if you have the right controller is by looking at the top part of your controller. And if it has a shape around the hump button, it means it's an older controller, therefore won't be able to connect to your phone. If you do own a newer Xbox controller and still have problems pairing your controller to your iPhone, try updating the firmware by downloading the Xbox Accessories app on the Microsoft Store and just connect your controller using a USB cable and just follow the steps and it will just take a few minutes uh, to download and install the newest firmware update. And after that, just try pairing your controller to your phone again, and most likely this will fix any issues. And to wrap up this video, here are a few tips that may help enhance your experience. I strongly suggest to get a phone tripod like this one. And trust me, it's a lot more comfortable to play like this. Or maybe get a phone holder that mounts on your controller. It will look something like this. And it actually works quite well. I will leave links to a few options in the video description. And also you can try connecting your phone to a TV, so it will feel like you're playing on a console. If you want to learn how to do that, I have another video where I explain in detail how to connect your phone to the TV, so just click right here or in the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you on the next one.